when he was talking with doctors. He was holding, that's how, that's how educated he was, that's how sharp he was. He was talking with doctors and, and his mother and father left him. And then they didn't recognize till three days later that, that Jesus was in the women. And so then they turned around on their, on their journey and they came back and they, and, and they saw him communicating with the doctors in, in the temple, and in the house of God. And they, and they asked Jesus, what are you doing? Where you at? He said, don't you know I got to be about my father's business? When you come into the house of God, you need to be about your father's business. You need to leave your business, your things going on out in the street, and when you come in, you need to be all about Jesus. This is the house of God. This is the house of God. You have to reverence the house of God. There has to be a conduct of how you carry yourself in the house of God. This ain't you. You, you shouldn't come in here tripping out, getting mad. If you mad, stay home. And then the reality is people should even be able to know that there is a problem with you. When you come in here, everything's going to be howdy howdy and hey hey. That's the problem. How can we win any people over to the Lord if we come in 80 years old and you cry? No, I got no tears of joy. Sometimes it's tight, but it's right. I gotta put you in place. And therefore, when you understand where you are, when you understand how to treat the house of God, then would you come in here and reverence it? So to say that they're gonna come in here lifting their hands up. See, I'm gonna show you, many of you, when you come in, you, you, I'm gonna show you how some of you come in. You got it, you got it all, man. Of my life. This is the one thing that I desire. 
that I'll seek after, that I'll dwell in the house of the Lord. And then to gaze upon the beauty and the splendor of the Lord. Look up at the ceiling. When you walk in, you need to see beauty. You need to be beauty. The, the Bible asks the question, who shall enter into his tabernacle? Only him who's righteous. Only him who got a clean heart. Everybody just can't come into the house of God. Psalm 15 and 1. 1 and 2, it says this. Watch this. Watch what I show you. Psalm 15, 1 and 2, it said, they're asking the question, Lord, who shall abide in your tabernacle? Who shall dwell in your holy hill? Then the answer was, he says, only he that walketh uprightly, huh? and, and, and worketh righteousness, huh? and, and speaketh the truth. That's in 15. Evidently, then you jump over to 24. Evidently, this question is, is good. Watch this. 24, 3 and 4 it says, Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Who can stand in the holy place? Huh? Huh? And then he said, Only he that got clean hands huh? and a pure heart huh? who would not lift it up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully. Who can stand in the presence of God? Who can stand in the presence of God? You need to look at coming into the house of God as an honor, as a privilege. You need to look at that this is where people with, with like opinions, with like beliefs, come and fellowship. Where we have, this ain't the place for drama. If you think you won't come to the church for drama, you in the wrong place. But this should be a place where love is displayed. This should be a place where we come to lift up Jesus. It ain't about he say, she say. It ain't about what he feels. It's about Jesus. Yeah. 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 He said I seek him in his temple. Seek him. That's active pursuing of God. It's an activity. It's something that I got to do. It's a desire. It's almost something that I have to get to him. Many of you, when you're hungry, you got to eat. And I make sure many of you will tear the refrigerator up, break the door down, to do something to get you something to eat. But that's how you ought to be when, when, when you come into the presence of God. I want to be where the presence of God is. God, whatever you say, whatever it takes to get to you, I want to be there. If you look at verse 5, it says, when you have this attitude about the house of God, and, and coming in, number one, you'll be blessed. Yeah. You'll be blessed. Yeah. When you reverence the house of God, you will look, look you, you're willing to look at, look, at, look at verse 5. 24 verse 5. He shall receive blessings from the Lord. When you enter, with, when God is the head of your life, when you enter in here with the right attitude, with the right mind, He will bless you. You don't even have to ask Him. All you have to do is come in and lift Him up. The blessing is there. Watch what else He do. He said, then, same, same verse, in your time. 